uh, what you find there, just a little bit around the background um, uh, against which we've uh, constructed the Centre for Youth Impact very much as a partnership initiative, um, as Jane has already said. So, um, we, this is nothing new. You know all of, all of these bullet points, but just um, to um, illustrate them a little bit and where that, um, because um, it really is quite important. We all experience the funding crisis. I don't know whether you've had sight of the latest figures that the DFE uh, connects every now and again, but uh, local authority spending on youth services is down from 1.2 billion in 2010-11 to um, 712 million in 2013 and 14. And so, um, I don't know, I used to be a maths teacher, as I said, but um, it's about 40% down at the moment so far. And uh, the trend is obviously going to continue. Um, I spoke to a, um, somebody who should know about these things, who reckons that by the year 2019, if the austerity program continues um, as predicted, then there will not be any um, children's services department left maintained by local authorities themselves. And so um, that um, means that quite a lot of it is actually means the decimation of local authority youth services, which again you all know about, which puts them quite a lot of um, pressure onto um, the voluntary sector. Um, life in the voluntary sector isn't easy either. Um, we've uh, compiled a, a short briefing paper for the minister the other week, which we did by trawling through the publicly available accounts of charities that work with young people found that the picture is mixed. Some organizations are doing much, much better than others for a variety of different reasons, but that about 50% of all the charities that register uh, with NICWIS have actually had to dip into their reserves for at least two years running over the last five years. And so um, there are some larger charities in particular who did reasonably well, but the pressure is on particularly um, on small and medium-sized um, who therefore, um, again in turn, put greater pressure on grant-making trusts and foundations, on voluntary sector grant programs uh, that are available. I think um, I found figures of success rates which are now down to as little as 5%. So imagine 95% of all the people who are sitting and sweating over putting in grant applications being rewarded with, up with absolutely nothing. And if you multiply that by the number of charities in the field, how much waste there is in the system in terms of um, going for very limited um, funding points. Um, and what that also does is that it makes people more inward looking. And so everybody is just looking after their own organizations, hoping that in a year or two things might be better or that they've stabilized their organization as they're um, looking and re-looking at the business model. And as organizations <coughs> um, are more inward looking, it means that as a sector, we lack focus and a common direction and as much as people understand the principle that particularly when times are tough that really collaboration is the thing that will get you out of it, um, in practice it doesn't actually work like that. So, um, what's the reason behind all of this and is there anything that um, could be done um, to change um, the situation? But if you listen to politicians and so on, and um, we quite often get to this particular charge, that um, we haven't got um, a robust enough evidence base to make the case for youth services in a tough environment. And so we found that at the Education um, Select Committee, but we also had it said by Nick Hurt, who was um, the Minister for Civil Society uh, until fairly recently. And I think... Um, despite the fact that individual politicians are totally committed to the agenda with and for young people, they remain to be convinced that there is anything um, that we as a sector uh, put together so that it helps them to make the case. So I, mean, I know Nick Hurd as a, as a fantastic advocate of youth work and work with young people, but um, still you probably find it very difficult in the wider um, policy arena to make the case for continuing investment. And if he finds that difficult nationally, then what about all of us doing the same locally and regionally and in our own organizations? <coughs>
created using Powtoon.